It's not about picking stocks. It's about picking the right portfolio. Student loans touch everybody. Um, basically, when you look at the breakout of student loans and where they're held, people think it's like you're under 28 years old, so you're carrying your student loans and you can't go out and buy product from a place like a Revolve, which is probably true. Um, but it's also really held uh, by the parents of these students, and you're talking age up to 55 years old, that touches everyone. It touches Depot, it touches Lowe's, it touches Target, it touches everyone. Um, and you're talking about $300 a month per consumer, um, and that's going to touch all of retail. So. That's one of the reasons, that's one of the factors that's kind of holding us back from getting more bullish. This, uh, this big red book number that we saw this morning, um, that's pre-student loans coming back on. I think the red book sales are going to take another leg down. Um, and again, that's a broad swath of retailers uh, once student loans come back on, on the books. So we got to get past that. And um, I, it, quite frankly, it scares the crap out of me. If we didn't have this coming down the pike, I might be bullish on retail already but I'm not um, because it is such a major factor and it's something that maybe it eats into the personal savings rate a little bit. People save a little less because they're spending a little bit more on student loan payments. That's entirely possible. That's not bullish, but it's possible. But it's something that we've got to get, get past. And I would challenge anybody to give me any retailer um, that this does not affect. Hey there, Hedgeye Nation, or if you're not part of Hedgeye Nation, thanks for watching Hedgeye on YouTube. If you haven't already, make sure to click on the button below there. Subscribe to our YouTube page. You can also follow the link in the description to our website to get even more great investing content.